Hey guys, it's Roy Stiles from the Ravax Motor Team and installing the Pro Circuit Shorty on Dawson 112. Um, pretty stoked. Dawson's pretty stoked too. Yeah, super psyched. Look at the comparison from this to this. You're not even going to be able to see the size. Like, you're not even going to be able to see it. It's just going to be a loud noise coming from nowhere. Like, um, what do you think about putting an exhaust mod on? No, I haven't, I haven't done it. You haven't done it? No, I haven't done it yet. Doss, is there our first exhaust mod? We had a factory exhaust on your last bike, I believe. Yes, we did. And she sounded okay. It sounded okay, and this bike sounds okay, but yeah, we thought it just, might be cool. It's just not as loud as we need it to be. I bet it's an eight millimeter. Eight. Yeah, try that. Eight millimeter. Get your socket wrench with the extension on it. Extended. Yeah, there you go. And an eight mil. I believe it's eight for the body panel plastics. There you go. We'll start just with this one side panel. Okay. Just unscrew this top bolt and this lower bolt. Keep them in a spot so you don't mix them up with any other bolts. And then... Do you put them in the safe place, Royce? Put them in the safe place. Take it off like that. Okay. Like Pretty cut and dry. Get this off. Looks like a couple more eights, huh? Two more eights and just... the. This is just the uh, silencer. And that plugs right into the main... Pipe yeah, it looks pretty. Across. So you want to do the same so thing? So another another eight then. Other yeah. Way. Yeah. Or the other way. Is that no. the right way? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. Just on there, nice and tight. There might even be a little Loctite on there from the factory. There you go. All right. So the ones with the washers. So it looks like just two eight mils. Yeah, this is super simple. Just I could even use this. Well, so far it's super simple. Yeah, so far until we get actually into the stuff. Can I keep this and frame it? We should bring this in case I break my glass. All right, so. So does that just unplug from there, Doss? Um, Give it a little wiggle and pull. I don't want to break it off. You're not going to break it. Give it a little up and down wiggle and a pull. Yeah, just like that and pull it. Is it screwed? Up and down wiggle and pull. Nothing oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah. You might want it. You don't need. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All right, I'll go get the short. So how's that look, guys? This compared to the other side. I don't know. All right, let's compare the pipes. The Pro Circuit Shorty and then the Remember, stock. you got a, a filmer that's trying to film. Quite a bit different. About four inches shorter. Much mm -hmm. smaller. She looks Much. like she's going to be a little loud. So you can see this rubber piece right here. You just want to... Cram it in there. I think it goes over the pipe on the inner inside. It's cool. Over. Perfect. That 
That's easy, dog. Good job. That lines right up in mint, huh? Looks like it. So now... And you want to make sure this little piece yep. right here lines up right with the rubber piece. Four bolts just to get off the screen. It looks like, guys, I bet in the factory exhaust is a rubber grommet that goes right in there. See, in the factory exhaust, there's that grommet there. This yeah. actually needs to go into the new exhaust. I would say maybe just a flathead screwdriver. Just to, let's see, get behind there and. What about this one? Should right pop here. off with Does it. That one come yep, off should off? pop off with it. Just put that behind there and just pry it a little bit. But these two pieces are broken. Do you want me to? Huh? Nope. Maybe the other side. Okay. There you go. But what you have to do to take this grommet out is actually you just pop the silver spacer. That's where the bolt will go through. The silver spacer, pop that out first, and then you can take this rubber grommet out. That's what it looks like. But if you push it together, then it makes this. Yeah. So that needs to get installed onto the new exhaust. The old grommet installed on the new exhaust. Bingo. I'm just putting that spacer back in and that DOS actually, bud, if you just put it up when you tighten up the bolt, it'll just work. But remember, there's a washer that goes on the inside. We put the grommet in, the spacer for the bolt to go through, and then you have a washer on the outside. And the and inside. A washer on the inside so now we just got to tighten it but we're just gonna you just honestly finger tighten that bud and that way you have some play for the bottom bolt if you make this wicked tight sometimes you can't uh, this won't manipulate it as easy so this is in it's finger tight now get your other bolt and put it in there and get it just finger tight the same other and the bottom bolt yeah. Uh, that, that doesn't line See, up. it's not lining up perfectly, so that's why you definitely don't want to do this wicked tight. That, yeah, that, it, it's not even can I see that? close. Okay. 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 So it's not, not perfect, but we made it so this bolt here you leave that loose like I said so that you can manipulate this end and then that helps it so when you're trying to put this bottom one in now get that one pretty tight Doss exactly and you don't need to do it so tight this time come up here and do that top one now Royce, you want to do that one? You don't need to tighten it. Just just a little bit of pressure on that grommet there. And then that was tight. Oh, look how tight that is. That's firm. That's a good install, DOS. Can you put that in again? Which one goes first? And remember on plastic bolts, do the same thing. You can put it in and tighten it, but leave it a little loose till you get all the bolts in finger tight. So I'm pretty confident about this install. She's looking Super nice. sturdy. That was a very, very easy install. What do you think, Dosh? You want to see if this sounds any different in the garage here? It might not, just idling. It might sound pretty similar, but we'll see. Finished done, done finishing the first circuit exhaust. 
on the KX112. Pretty Dawes pretty stoked to try it out when moto season comes around and hope to install the foot pegs in a future video. I wonder if this exhaust is gonna make Daw actually catch me this year. We'll see. You might want one. Now. Shots fired, Daw, from no, the guy on the 65. Uh, what a cool install.